Welcome back, everyone, for a summer romance, Cobra Kai Season 5 Watch Party. Ever since the early scenes of the original Karate Kid movie, one thing above all else has driven the action. The story, the plot, yeah, you know it. Girls. Girls, girls, girls. Okay, it's also love triangles, jealousy, and a hell of a lot of miscommunication and bad timing. But yeah, love and romance is so much at the heart of everything here. So I suppose it's worth an ask. Where are all the relationships headed in Season 5? Let's take a look at them one by one and see what we can find. Let's start with the one couple to end all couples. Okay, maybe not that dramatic, but there's Miguel and Sam. While they seem to be one of the more popular romantic pairings in the series, they aren't exactly on the best ground right now. Their last real time together was the prom, and that was a total disaster. They stared at a hotter couple all night long, and then got into a spiteful fight that ended up in the pool. They each blamed the other for what happened. Not a good way forward. They did make up a little at the All Valley. Obviously, Miguel had just dropped out of the tournament and his mind was on other things. But it's also what happened here that could cause some of the trouble in season five. First off, Miguel lied to Sam here. Now granted, he had some of his reasons, but it really depends on how she'll take it. He told her, or at least led her to think that he would be in the stands watching her match. Obviously, that wasn't the case. He left the match instead. So there's a few things about this that Sam could be mad at him about. The first is, as I said, that he pseudo lied or misled her. He didn't watch her match. Now maybe she can understand that if she can understand why he did that in the first place. And that's the real key. Miguel left to find his father. Maybe if she understands why he did that, she won't hold it against him. But on the other hand, Miguel also left without telling her or anyone else what he was doing. Going to Mexico by himself is obviously pretty dangerous. It's very likely Sam will be upset at him for doing that. Like, it's okay if you want to meet your father, but don't be so reckless about it. Be safe. Take care of yourself. It would be a very normal reaction for Sam to be a little angry at Miguel for being so reckless, even if she understands why he wanted to do it. Now, obviously, that's how Sam thinks. Miguel likely is still on board with their relationship. He went to Sam at the tournament because he really does still care for her. In his mind, there's nothing wrong. He may even be annoyed if she's angry at him for putting himself in danger. But I don't think she'll be mad for long. Obviously, we see them together at the water park, so it's likely they do remend their relationship and continue forward. After that, there's probably not going to be much drama. The story is going to pick up with Cobra Kai and the fate of Karate in the Valley, so the love drama does have to die down a little. Now our next couple to examine is Robbie and Tori. Now in contrast to Sam and Miguel, they had a great time at prom. It brought them closer together, about as close as you can physically get, as it turns out. The tournament also gave them a reason to emotionally bond. Obviously, Robbie was thrilled Tori won the championship. It is what she wanted so bad. Now, as for season five, that's a good question. We know that Robbie is going with Johnny to Mexico. That will throw some sort of wrench into their relationship. It's likely Tori will understand he has an opportunity to spend a little time with his father, something he has never really had, but still, she may want or need someone to talk to. Robbie doesn't know anything about the bribed ref. He doesn't know the uncertainty she's feeling. She also likely won't tell him. Now, keeping secrets could be bad, but I don't think that is really the case here. There's just so much going on and she hasn't decided what she thinks yet. The moment will just pass. While we don't know precisely what'll happen in Mexico, it's reasonable to assume maybe Robbie has at least a better relationship with Johnny. That could potentially free him up to get closer to Tori still. Obviously, we know they are together at the water park scene. Since both couples are here, it's possible there's a little jealousy or rivalry. That's the part of the Miyagi verse you can never get away from. It likely won't be much though. The biggest question is, how does the relationship hold up after Robbie leaves Cobra Kai? While he's not training for a while, he does eventually join up with his father 
at the Miyagi-Do dojo. Will Tori be hurt by that? He is sort of leaving her with Cobra Kai. I can't say for sure, but I would like it if their dojo split doesn't affect their relationship at all. Like, could two people date and belong to different dojos? It seems sacrilege, like a Gryffindor dating a Slytherin. But maybe it can just work. Maybe they don't care so much about the dojo rivalry and keep their relationship going. Isn't that sort of what you would like to see? A couple not bogged down by the karate war? I also would love for Johnny to have a scene with Tori after learning she and Robbie are dating. Those two haven't spoken to each other since she was introduced in Season 2, Episode 4. Otherwise, I'm not predicting any further drama with them. Now what about Hawk and Moon? Clearly, they have always been one of the best couples in the show. I mean, they're both so cool. They got back together at the end of Season 4, and Moon's love and kiss gave Hawk the power to kick ass at the tournament. Now that Hawk has dropped his harsher ways, Moon is likely very committed to him. I do think their relationship could be the biggest question mark in how it's handled. A lot depends on how Hawk acts while being a champion. Does it all go to his head or will he play it cool? That's an interesting question. If he's guided by the light of the moon, haha, then maybe he can play it smooth. He won't get cocky again. I would like to see his story arc encompass Moon a little more. Unfortunately, in the past few seasons, Moon has sort of fallen into the background. Having the two of them together would be great. Now there's also Dimitri and Yasmin. Many people still can't understand how they got together as a couple. As I made a long video explaining the evolution of dating and how you can win over a hot girl the way Dimitri did, it's called Dimitri's Dating Do's and Don'ts. It's a good one if you haven't seen it. Now season 4 seemed to place the relationship in the fast lane and the physical side. Yasmin was all over him, at school, at prom, especially after prom. It would be great to see a new side of their relationship. These two have the same problem that Hawk and Moon have, in that the story has moved on elsewhere, and there's just little for them to do. While I do think they will be together, I tend to fear there will be little other story for them. Certainly a lot of people are over the love drama stuff, but if there's no story or obstacle, the whole thing will become rather boring. Maybe they can have a hot summer romance, at least until the Karate War kicks off again. Now there's also Daniel and Amanda. I'm asked all the time if they are getting a divorce or breaking up or anything of the sort. This is basically a hangover from when she was mad at him back in season two. Remember, just because there's a scene in the trailer where Amanda is angry at Daniel, doesn't mean they're splitting up for good. In general, I think we can take their relationship as one of the stronger relationships in the show. They will emerge from whatever happens this season stronger than ever. They are a good couple. Now finally is Johnny and Carmen. I think this is the relationship that may move the most ground in season five. Assuming Mexico goes well, this could bring Johnny even closer to Carmen. You can imagine Johnny trying harder to make everything work and to get Miguel and Robbie better accolated to the situation. If they can get along, then maybe he can take things to the next level with her. It's not impossible Johnny proposes marriage to her by the end of the season. Things have moved along with them fast enough and I do think they'll get married before the show's done. Of course, Johnny has to win the Karate War first, but still, he may pop that question. I'll be reviewing season 5 with live streams and videos from the day it drops, so be sure you're subscribed to join in. Which relationship are you most looking forward to? Leave a comment and let me know. Have a great day, I'll see you at the next watch party.